think. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nürburgring and welcome to a very important update. I've bought a new project car. No, actually, we're still going to talk about my face because it has been now a month since I had my double jaw surgery. In case you missed the previous update video where we talked about the actual reasons and uh, the one week update, uh, I suggest check out the video in the video description uh, or the first pinned comment where you can see how bad of a shape I was back then in comparison to now. And today I want to talk you through what I have been through ever since that you haven't seen me. So you've seen me already vlogging, especially if you follow me on Instagram and some other pages, you know already that actually I'm a bit even better than you see this video right now because this is probably will be published roughly almost a week time after we film this. But what has happened since my first update? Two weeks after the surgery, I was very excited because when my mouth was wired shut, and it still kind of is, there were uh, like very strong elastics and I knew that they're gonna take them out and more importantly the stitching. Actually, I filmed a bit so it's gonna explain itself. It's day number 13 after my double jaw surgery and today in exactly an hour time, I have to rush to the doctor, they will take out these elastic bands. And moreover, can you hold it and see if we can see the stitches? So the stitching's over there, can you see it? Kinda. Kinda? Yes. Yeah, yes. okay. And I also like more there. So it's gonna make my life a lot more comfortable. Let's go to the doctor, see how it's going to look like. I was extremely happy and uh, I was thinking that they're gonna take out the elastics completely. They didn't. Uh, it had to remain wired shut for another two weeks uh, up until like what a few days ago by now. And that is when I went there again and they took out the elastics and also the last stitches uh, and they put on like less tight elastics. But most importantly, I got clearance to do pretty much everything and anything. Most importantly, I was allowed to eat again. Something that will, you will see me first time eating in a bit. I filmed that. So I'm allowed to eat. I was allowed to do anything when it comes to activities because I was not allowed to do any exercises or be really cautious. So now I'm allowed to do anything, everything, sport, gym, with the exception of uh, contact sport. Driving the track can become a contact sport, but we try to avoid that, of course. I mean, I can trip over stairs and that can become a contact sport. So that's why it's just still a risk that I'm taking. After my visit to the surgeon, I immediately went to orthodontist where they tightened up the braces immediately and also put the elastics on different positions. So right now, they're actually not that visible. I had enough practice of uh, talking with, uh, with the mouth shut, so that's actually quite fun. They're not that uh, like restrictive as of now. I'm also allowed to take them out for the weekend of N24 because we'll be filming for Hyundai, so it should be actually quite uh, helpful. Um, but uh, Dr. Jeremy Martin Dante said that I'll have to keep those elastics in till the end of the treatment, which depends on how fast the teeth will move because left side currently is completely good when it comes to the position of the teeth. The front is good, only the right side needs adjustment. It will happen extremely quick because there's a lot of blood now after the surgery, so they move quite quick, but we don't know how quick. It can be three months, it can be six months. I have another checkup with the surgeon in two weeks time just to see that everything is still good and orthodontist appointment in six months time, uh, six weeks time. I should be finished with everything probably in six months time because by then the braces will be done hopefully they will also take out the metal plates that hold my jaws together because they were broken or cut in part to put them in different locations so metal plate here here and on top two of them so there is that and then there's going to be a, oh look it's the ring tractor big scent that was actually quite a scent for uh, the small alley with uh, many people everyone's sending it the tracks over there go drive there tractor um, yeah, and enough of that, I'll do a couple of corrections on the teeth um, because in the past when they were all crooked, the, the dentist would make them nice and uh, straight for the crooked position. But now when they're straight, they all of a sudden actually don't look straight anymore. So we'll have that done. But yeah, the biggest 
part is behind us. We will be doing laps again now. So lapping the track, eating food chat content. We already had first pancakes. You will see them in the upcoming videos. And there's that, just a quick update to know that we have now uh, crossed, we left the most challenging part behind us and we are now on to the easy part and long going part. Most importantly, I want to let you know that I will still be making like a really big general video of um, from the very start of the treatment, how it looked like, what it went through, uh, the big tips and hints to the people who uh, will have to, who want to go through the same surgery because after my first video, I received dozens of comments from people that weren't following me before saying thank you very much for making it because it gave me courage because I'm having the same type of surgery in a couple of weeks, days or months time where I'm contemplating. So we'll do a really general one for people who want to do through it. So if you have some questions, let me know in the comments. And that's pretty much it. So far, most importantly, I want to say I'm extremely happy with the result already. It's extremely straight and uh, it's actually a smile that you haven't seen before. I actually can smile. I can bite things. I can chew things. That's most importantly. So that's already good. And uh, that's it. And the biggest concern that I had, I might, uh, that I could have potentially difficulties with speaking. The only challenge or the difference now is that the letter or the sound is a bit different. It could be because of the elastics or because my top jaw is moved forward and you use your tongue to the top jaw to make the sound and now I need to readjust it. So that's the only thing. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this update. Kinda and uh, I guess now enjoy the footage of me eating for the first time. But before we do that, most importantly, since I was not able to eat because I was, my mouth was wired shut for a month long, I could only drink. I, so most people uh, either only drink soup. In my case, I was blending chicken and rice, having still protein shakes, keeping the caloric intake still high. And the doctors warned me that I would lose between seven to nine kilos. And some people messaged me and DM'd who went through this. They said they lost even 15 kilos. And for me, who spent lots of time in the gym, that was unthinkable. So I had to take my caloric intake high. Uh, caloric intake high. Um, yeah, actually I only lost one kilo. And two of them was actually in the hospital uh, after the surgery. So I think we did quite well there. All right, here's the awkward shot of me eating. Enjoy. It's hard to believe, but these two dishes are almost identical to each other. There are just two differences between them. So here we have chicken, rice, garlic, pepper, also red hot chili pepper, olive oil. And here we have pretty much exactly the same with addition of spinach and then of course blended. Now this is what I've been living on for the last, I would say like what, last month, yep. Exactly, because I could only drink blended food with addition of some supplements. So we have here the isojects of Evogen protein shake and also collagen and basically post-workout, which helps with recovery. But at the end of the day, uh, the end of the day, the surgery is pretty much also injury, which who needs some recovery and building blocks. So it did the job very well, if I may say so. And today for the first time, I'm gonna try to eat this. I think it's going to be quite interesting. I'll have to relearn how to bite and chew with the position of my jaws. I even might not be able to do it at all. Uh, the camera is a bit too low. Yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. I just took out the elastics that I have in there usually. Um, but first of all, let's see how the feeling of the jaw is. It's definitely a completely different position of the jaws. First of all, so it will be quite interesting. But also I had the smartest idea of going to the orthodontist, to Dr. Ajami to uh, tighten up the braces. And I can feel already the teeth are kind of hurting. I remember before the surgery, they wouldn't hurt, but when you tighten up the braces, they wouldn't hurt. But once you start chewing, they would hurt like hell for the first two days or so. <sighs> All right, let's start easy with just rice. Is it going to be ASMR food vlog or food shot or something? Hmm. We start with just the rice. Choo choo. I can actually use the camera and see how I'm eating. Hmm. I 
it's weird because I still am missing quite a lot of feeling in my lower jaw, especially in the lip portion. portion. And actually, also some of the tooth, teeth. And it's actually, I'm not feeling if I'm like, it's weird. So weird. <gasps> There's a piece of chicken. Can you see it? Yep. Okay, let's let's try the chicken. I'm actually gonna even like use it with a hand. Hi, chewing. I am. It's not hurting whatsoever. Also, big question is how is my body going to react to solid food after being on liquid for a month? And this is, by the way, the furthest I can open my mouth right now. It's actually not that bad. The good advantage is before I couldn't chew pretty much at all because my jaws were like that, like crisscross. So I could only chew with one or two teeth. So most of the food I just didn't bother chewing. I would just like kind of like mash it with the two teeth that would be grinding against each other. And the rest I would kind of flatten with the tongue and then that's it. So for now I'm kind of back to where I was before. It's really weird. But I guess again, the most important thing, it doesn't hurt. I guess I'm happy. I expected like not being able to eat or to chew or all of a sudden feeling pain because there's pressure on my jaws, but this is great. The biggest struggle I had for the last four weeks is keeping myself saturated with food because the liquid food it just gets digested within like what immediately 20 minutes, 30 minutes and you feel hungry again and just no energy. Whereas now hopefully I'll be able to maintain my energy reserves. Sorry for the weird autofocus, but no. Yeah. I'm sure I'm disappointing a lot of people who were thinking that my first meal is going to be pancakes. Ah. Don't bite a feast bigger than you can chew. And also don't talk with a mouthful. That is, by the way, the strangest feeling so far, biting. I wasn't able to do so before. I have no idea what the hell is happening.